Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's Monday and can you guys tell it's morning and it's gray outside. Baby, it's gray outside. Not baby, it's cold outside, but it might be cold too. We are headed to the barn to do chores because Sam is at work. You know it's a busy day when I am up and at it early in the morning. It, it, it's Toby. It's Toby. It's the Tobe man. It's the Tober. It's Toby! Oh, that's a big boy. I do the same thing with Finn. I do the same thing to Toby that I do with Finn. I tell him he's a big boy. Are you a big boy? Some it smells like bacon. It's Toby. No, he smells like pee. 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 Bacon. It's all the same. Yesterday I showed you the baby set, set. Oh, I didn't show you. So I made a blanket for my friend's baby. And then I made this little mouse hat last night. And then I made her also a Christmas stocking. So yeah, that is what I did yesterday instead of vlogging. I did all that. A Christmas stocking. I meant to... I meant to put the person's name on the top of it, but I can't find a darning needle. No matter where I look, everything is sold out. Anyway, welcome to today. Gabby's getting ready. It's like a story of our life. Gabby always getting ready. Uh, let's go down and see how the ponies are. Molly, we're going to the barn. Ah, you can't come. <laughs> Sorry, you're a menace. You are a menace. All right, let's go in. Hi, Pen. How are your eyes? Let's see. Let's have them with those babies. They've been looking better. <laughs> She's not looking better. The ear pinning is killing me. I have friends with mares, and they said, even my chiropractor has a mare that pins her ears. I have friends with mares, and they're like, Laura, just go with it. You can't tell if Penny has medicine in her bucket. My hands are frozen. It's cold today, and we're headed to the barn super early. We should be there at like 9. Or 10, 10, I don't know, I can't remember, 9.30. So look at my schedule. But anyways, so uh, it feels like I took yesterday off. I feel like I had the whole day off. We hardly videoed yesterday. It was such a nice rest. Don't be alarmed though. I love vlogging. I love like the whole, like getting back to it on Monday morning was is amazing. I love it. I love it. So it kind of feels like I missed you guys yesterday. So now I need the scissors. Feels like everything that I need today is not here. But you can't complain because Sam works so hard and does so much on the weekends. And I appreciate it so much. And unless I choose to be down here and to help, then it's gonna happen where things are not where I expect them to be. I wanted to tell you guys before I forget, because I forget everything, um, that some of you guys live in the comment section. Like some of you guys read all the comments and love the comments and participate in the comments. It's like a whole extended relationship between us and you guys. And I love that. So I decided today, just out of the blue, like all the time I'll be reading the comments and I'll notice somebody, I'll notice them. I'll be like, wow, I really like that girl. And then the only way for me to the only way for me to actually like build a relationship with you, people commenting in the comments, is to recognize you and to get a feel for you. And I do that sometimes. Sometimes somebody will just pop out at me. Sometimes those people that are like spamming the comments or talking a lot, other people will be like, stop doing that. There's a girl, Life with Horses, she spams the comments often. And it really helped me get to know her and to be a part of her. And now she's a part of us. So every time I see her comment, I always read it and I always notice and I always know that she's there. And I love that. So I feel like every time I notice somebody in the comments, I should shout them out. What do you guys think? Like, I feel like I should do that because so often I get a feel. Like, there's so many women and girls that I know just from the comment section. Like, there's Gail. There's Sandy. There's Lori. There's... Susan, there's Life with Horses, there's, uh, what's that girl's name that got grounded from her phone? Like, there's so many of you guys, and I recognize you guys, and I want to acknowledge the fact that I recognize you. So today's shout out goes to Chloe16. Chloe16, I saw you today. I saw you in the comments. I saw you all over the place, and I just want to say a shout out to you, and thank you so much for spamming in the comments and making yourself known. And thank you so much for participating in our little community. It means a lot to me. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you have the best Christmas ever and thank you. I just want to say thank you. And same life with horses. Don't think I forgot about you because you're always there.
What you dream now, Sophie? No, me and Daisy had a race. And Daisy won? Yeah. Yeah, she's getting fast. You are brave to bring her down here. Okay, I'll tell you what happens. You ready to know what happens when Daisy comes to the barn? Well, if you keep her in the barn. Right. So, I have to open this door at multiple different times, and she's sneaky as heck. Then lock her in that room, and then you can open the door as many times as you All want. All right, but then she poops, so who's going to clean up the poop in there? Whoever locks her in there. <laughs> Go lock her in, sister. Go lock her in. Leave the kitties. All right. Ah, see? She knows. That girl knows. All right, so her eyes definitely not better. And her mouth. Like, look at her. She's always a mess. You're always a mess. I know. I don't know. I'm going to clean this today and put more stuff in it. She's like, take me. Take me. She's like, everybody else is going. Why are we going? But look at her. She would never dare go without my permission. Like, that's how good she is. She would never dare go past you. When, no. When you're standing there and she's coming. I know. She's such. I know. She's Love this go. girl. All right. Cause Walk on. There when Dad was letting her run in. I don't like run letting her run in if I don't have to. I already gave you your treat. It's time to go. Go and see your friends. Pretend you have friends. Be kind. That let that be a lesson to all of us. You can't have friends unless you're kind. Gabby, don't throw that. Yep. Yeah. And the puppy's loose. This is what happens. This is why we don't bring her down. Once she's loose, the puppy. Gabby's here too now. Me and I are dead. We did not have enough sustenance yet. None of us did. I keep trying to figure out a way to explain the phenomenon that is Penny. And I think I think I figured it out. It just came to me. No, just get her, catch her. I'll watch Sophie's going to catch the puppy. She didn't know if you were playing or if you were mad at her. Give her a pet. Tell her you were just playing. She gets in trouble in the barn all the time because she runs off and we can't catch her and there's a road. Okay. So the phenomenon that is Penny is that you only just need to ask Penny to do something and she listens. She's always paying attention. She's always, she catches things right away and she's able to communicate through her eyes and her body that she's got it. So when you go to an extreme manner to make her listen, she gets offended. And that's what I'm trying to say is that she listens always, demonstrates that she's listening. She demonstrates when she understands you. If she doesn't understand you, she quietly, calmly asks you what you want. And then as soon as you, like she picks things up so fast. So when right, you use, go. okay, let's go. Dating so when you use, wood. Okay. What time did you book it for? I don't know, I gotta go look. So she let's. Was dating your wood chip. Gabby, yeah, do a sweep and then we'll go. So when you no, ask Penny, me. when you treat Penny like a regular horse that doesn't listen and you like get her in trouble or you kick her or you squeeze her or you like do something that you would do with a regular horse to ask her to do something that she already understands, it makes her frustrated. And I think even, I, I don't know if she's ever been abused, but to her, being screamed at, told off, treated angrily, always frustrates her and sets her off because she's the kind of horse that just understands and listens naturally. And I think that's her biggest issue in life. I think that is her biggest issue is that she doesn't feel heard, she feels misunderstood, and she feels abused because people treat her in a way that she doesn't need to be treated. And I know there are a lot of traditional people out there that are going to be like, Laura, you have to be the boss of the horse or the horse is going to kill you. It's a big animal. Well, the thing is, Penny doesn't try and kill me. She doesn't try and kill anybody. Um, and I think it's the least we can do is to pay attention, learn the horse, learn what each horse needs, and go with that. Our boys are completely fine with traditional methods. They are laid back, easy going. Even Finn is not a sensitive horse like, like Penny is sensitive. Let's go! If, if you just bring Daisy down every morning, if, then you would be able to chase her. If I brought, yeah. No, I'd be skinny, man. I brought that dog down to the barn every day. I'd be a skinny girl. Gabby's practicing her golf stroke. Nice. Hey, you're wearing my sweater. Yes, mine. No, it is still mine. That is my, my sweater. Is Daisy likes to light up laser. We finally found a toy Daisy loves. 
Ja, das ist ein Kettel, das auch. Let's see. Ich glaube, das ist Quarkwerk. Sie sagt, ich will dich auch. Was ist das? Alright, we are headed to the barn. And I want Gabby to show you what she's having for breakfast. This is what happens when you wake up fast. First thing in the morning, you have to be on the run. Gabby, what's your go-to fast breakfast? A whole lot of cheese. I thought you hated cheese. I did until a year ago. Yeah, I was like that too. When I was young, I hated cheese. I hated cream cheese. I hated everything to do with cheese, and now I love it. When she was hungry, when Billy was here, that bad. It's just um, sour. That's she I stirred stuff. She did other stuff, and she came out with cheese. Okay, what are you having for breakfast? Meatballs. <laughs> meatballs. That's a lot of meatballs. I had three of them. You had three of them? Very dry. Every day a different travel. Every day a different travel, you guys. Oh no. Today, big... today is ice. Sometimes it's mud, sometimes it's ice. Today is ice. I feel bad for Porcino's little feet. Hi, Finn. No, oh, you see Finn? Finn? Finn, he's staring at us. Anyway, when we were driving to the barn today, I was oh, thinking like... Oh I gosh. Gelding, though. Don't Maybe leave, don't gelding. leave. Today we were driving to the barn and I was thinking like today is like Chino's a already taken and he has <laughs> two boyfriends. Chino was kissing a, a mare. When we drove by, he was in no, the field. I think that I one think... gets the gelding. Oh he's kissing a gelding. gelding. He literally gelding. had his oh there's still See that paint this by the chestnut? Look at those guys playing. So Chino's had his face right up in this other horse's face and they were kissing. There's a really playful horse here. Huh. See the one right by the chestnut? Yeah. That's the Unfortunately, one. the horse that is really playful is, rips off blankets. Is that one that's blind? Oh. Okay. So, anyways, I was driving here today and I was thinking, like, today is such a busy yeah. day. It was really nice having the day off yesterday um, and just, like, kind of chilling. But I love, like, imagine getting out. Ha Imagine your job being you have to get up and do all your chores and all your stuff. Like, it can happen for you too. Your job can be your passion. Oh my god, look at that blanket. All it means is following your dreams. Following God's signs to lead you to your dreams. Like how I'm following God's signs that Sophie has an aptitude for cooking. God gives you the things you need to live the life you're meant to lead. I'll take a picture of this big bad boy. Oh man, right, you're alive, your blanket's alive. Cause he, he runs away, he doesn't play. And this guy's blanket is mostly alive. They're like, what are you doing here this morning? I feel like Storm likes a blanket. I feel like Storm said no to the last blanket. He's like, are you bringing me? Am I coming? He's got such a sleepy look about himself. I feel hyper today. <laughs> so funny to see their heads way down in the... Uh oh, I'm moving. Gabby's way down there with Chino because we can't ride him still, but she wants him to know that she loves him. So she's giving him a spray. Spray his butt! Every time we come, like that's our brand new blanket. And he'd be looking cute! He could definitely use a bigger size. You're not asking my baby. So anyways, we are gonna sit at him. He's like, okay, stop spraying me. Maybe he thinks we're making him more attractive to the girls or boys, whatever he likes. So we're actually trying this spray just to see. Don't like waste it. Just spray their butts mostly because that's where. Finn doesn't even need it. We're spraying our horses' blankets just to see if it works because. I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's spraying too much. Uh oh. <coughs> Here, put this on. He's like, ah. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Gabby says so far it works. This bottle was $30. I bought it like a couple of days ago. It's almost empty. It has like about, see that line at the bottom? That's about how much is left. Yeah, that's okay. You're good. You're going to be good. I'm switching them back to the right bit, the bit that Finn likes. Yeah, you guys are What's important? Ice. I'm done with the bit changes, you guys. What's important? Norman Chino, that's fine. Chino, 
What's important is having a bit that the horse likes. I keep listening to all these people who are like, you're mean, using a harsh bit. A bit is only as harsh as the person who's riding in it. And it should be the horse's choice. The horse should tell you what bit is the right bit for them, what bit works for them, what bit they like. And Finn has told us all along he likes his bit. That's why we started using it. I'm not gonna change anymore. I'm not gonna change it anymore. He does well in it. That's what works for us and that's what we're gonna do. Gabby showed us a trick. Gabby did a trick. How she got Finn's martingale on without taking off his hal bridle, halter. All right, so Sophie's gonna show us the trick. Put it under. And then, and underneath this, and then it's, is it on? Oh, she caught it on. So there's a trick for you guys if you want to see how you, you put. You have to undo this though. So oh, you have to undo that? Okay. Yeah, but you don't have to undo that. All right, that. awesome. Good job, Sophie. All right, we are done our ride. Probably already up by the time you're seeing this vlog. Sophie had a fall. It was not pretty. It was not fun. It was not awesome. Oh, man. Do you guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys do what we do? As soon as something bad happens, we find out who's to blame and then we get mad at them. We did that. That's what we do. Sometimes we do that. Like, we all blamed Gabby. In reality, it was Sophie's fault because she was holding on with her legs. You have to be anticipating that your horse could spook at any time. I honestly think it was Sophie's fault. It was definitely Gabby's fault, though. Like, Gabby has to yeah, start. It was Sophie's fault that she fell off. My fault didn't spook. Yeah. Fell off. Yes, very well said. But I also have to say that when everybody's ganging up on you and screaming at you, Gabby, why did you make Sophia fall? Because sometimes it emotions them up. emotions get going, and then that happens. Like you get frustrated. So let me tell you, there's frustration in our in our night riding video. But Gabby handled it really well. Gabby, you handled it really well. Wait, what one was it? Somebody was screaming at me and saying it was all your fault. I'd be crying, or else I'd be getting mad back. Probably getting mad back. No, you would be crying and getting mad. What? You have to put some blanket on. Are you okay? What? I can't move it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Yeah, I'll, put it on. I'll put it on. This is cold out. You have to sit in the car, up, Fiona. Let me see your hand. Where does it hurt? In here. All right. Cause this hurts. All right, well, you know, when your adrenaline is going and you're crying, it makes it hurt more. So just take a few minutes, take a break, and let's see if we can get it to... Well, I have to go out with the Gabby. I'll so go. It needs to get on now. I'll go with her. Don't worry. I made the mistake of spraying Finn's blanket inside. Now we're all stuck with pepper spray in her noses. All right, here, help me. Can you open the gate for me, please? Since... I'll do this. All right. You open the gate. All right. Watch out there, Stormy. Do not try and make a run for it. I got the pepper spray all up my nose. Me too. Yeah. All right, but so far it's holding it good on our blankets. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you in a couple of days, okay? We love you. So, look what happened to Penny's shavings. Oh, they still need more water? No. That's yeah, perfect. they're pellets. Yeah, that's perfect. Some are hard to break. Yeah, some are hard to break. Those that's okay. Hard. Dump it. They're still soft, right? Yeah, it's still soft. And uh, the rest when of it. When I did this, I had a hand. Yeah, you guys, I really thought Sophie broke her hand. I did. Oh, that's nice. I actually thought Sophie's hand was broken today because it's a bit swollen. Like, take off your coat. I need to see it without her coat, but you can even see like her fingers are swollen. I did it. Yeah, is that the first time you straightened it? No. But so, like, no. Once I move it a little bit more, but it's like right here, the pain. Sometimes it goes down here. If I like move this the wrong way. Yeah, I, I thought for like sure the way she was acting today that maybe it was broken. I have a problem. I think I sprained it. So, so just wait. What's your problem? Gracie needs shavings and there are none. Ooh, we need to go buy shavings then. Tell it. Okay.
So uh, this is what happened. Like, so she fell off the horse. She was like this. The horse spooked. She went like this and landed, but she landed on the, this hip, but her, this hand. Uh, so I think when she landed, I saw her. She went like, put her hand down. I saw like, like that. right away. I saw the side that she fell on though. And what did you see? Her over fall on this side. Yeah. Her right side of the roll through it. Oh. Maybe I landed on this side, but my hand was over here, and I landed on my hand. Like, yeah. Really back. Like nobody really knows what happens when you fall, huh, Pip? Well, all I know is that I could see the saddle go up a little bit more. Cause I was like going down. <laughs> the tackle was like getting dull over me, and I'm like. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. The things you remember. Did it? Did it get really? But I didn't close my eyes. Did it get really quiet when you were falling, or was it like? No, I was no, yelling she was Gabby. Screaming. I was yelling Gabby! <laughs> no, she it's yelled true. Gabby. And, and I then I saw and she was falling off and then <laughs> and then she was silent. Yeah. And I fall, everything gets really quiet. Like I can't hear anything around me. Yeah, she's a goop in her <laughs> eyes. Oh my gosh. Gabby! This is what I'm talking about. It's great that oh, okay. listen, this is what I'm talking about. Don't go running and acting like a fool. See what I can do? Oh, she can open the door finally. All right, we got all the ponies in. We're gonna clean them all up. Penny's eyes are still bad. Why did you spray her blanket? I didn't spray anything on her blanket. She, the girls don't fight. Who would fight her? She's so grouchy. Who would fight you, Pen? Who would fight Finn? He runs away. Yeah, Finn's oh, a runner. No, She's a fight. fighter. Finn's a runner. She has a lot of that stuff. I know. And one dot. She's yeah. One dot in the middle of her white. I know. I love it. I'm picking Penny's feet and I look over and I see this. Penny, you, you've sprouted a witch hat. What happened? Are you a witch? <laughs> an angel. And Gracie's an angel. Oh, a unicorn. And she's a bride. Is she a unicorn or a bride? She's a unicorn bride. Well, that would look good on Penny. Yep. She wears I'm it well. Um, excuse me, but we're not making messes in the barn. Thank you very much. Perfect. That is perfect. Wait, is it middle? Yeah. Perfect. All right. We got the devil and the angel. No. The angel. Why pooing. is the angel poo? Why is the angel pooing? She's afraid of the devil. She's like, help! The idea is just to have a nice slow ride on her. Look, she's got her ears forward. I haven't seen that in two weeks. She's super fresh. She's super excited to go. I was gonna take her outside. It's getting really, really cold. And the only time I have to ride is at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, it's kind of getting dark out. And she doesn't like that. Either. She's excited though. She feels good. She does feel good. That's what happens when you get the chiropractor, Penny. <laughs> Amazing. I'm excited to ride her. Oh, she's fresh there. Look at the ears though. Why is she doing that? Don't squeeze. Oh. Don't squeeze her. Just let her. I just click and she goes. Yeah, yeah. She, threw yeah. she threw her head when you clicked? You know, Nikki, Mom? Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk we can follow the moon like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside
inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm-mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you, with you with I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Penny's such a character, you guys. After our, she's in the crossrails and she's in the crossrails after our ride, and I put my nose, I gave her the treat, and I put my nose to her nose, and I put a big kiss on her, and I looked up at her, and she looked down at me, and we were staring at each other, and she was at totally peaceful, and it was like, it was like she was saying, I do not know what this is, but I don't mind it. And she is a character and my biggest triumph in that ride, I didn't show it to you all because there's too much just going around doing nothing, but was that I don't like to squeeze her because she pins her ears and she knows I don't like to squeeze her because she pins her ears. And every time we go near the door, you guys know, like she always tries to stop at the door, but I finally said enough is enough and I squeezed her. I hardly squeezed her and she pinned her ears and then she listened perfectly. Oh, what she does is after we go past the door she tries to steer me to back to the door and i gave her a squeeze pushed her over with my leg and she finally said okay fine you're the winner i don't know i love her i love everything this is my journey you guys and i'm gonna take it slow don't you know